I think Rodrigo will be a starter next year. Madrid can consider playing with three midfielders, said Guti at the Chiringuito last night. Rodrigo was able to hear his words and was very happy to see that a player who spent so many years at Real Madrid valued him in that way. Especially after seeing how some media outlets seem to want to push him out the door. It makes me very happy that a Madrid legend like Guti says that about me, very grateful, is what the player told several people from Madrid when he had breakfast while listening to Guti's words. He does not give up. The forward wants to continue making history at Real Madrid, and that is why, even though he knows that he will have a lot of competition and is likely to be undervalued, he is not thinking about leaving the best club in the world. He considers that thanks to his qualities he can adapt to all attacking positions and that will add points when Ancelotti has to choose the players for his game system. Years later, Bayer Leverkusen has revealed that Florentino Perez was interested in a player from the German team. However, an agreement was never reached. All of this happened in the summer of 2020, after the pandemic and a very complicated season economically. Thus, Real Madrid focused its objectives on Kai Havertz, a Leverkusen player at that time. The German midfielder was one of the great sensations in Europe and Florentino Perez was interested in his services, but Bayer's demands made any type of operation impossible. In fact, Fernando Caro, CEO of Bayer Leverkusen, has confirmed in Onda Ciro that there were conversations between Real Madrid and Bayer Leverkusen for Havertz in 2020. However, the German team was asking for 80 million euros for the footballer. An amount that Florentino Perez was not willing to reach at that time. We recommended Havertz wait, but he wanted to win titles, Fernando Caro revealed. Therefore, in the face of Real Madrid's refusal, the German midfielder ended up signing for Chelsea. We sold to Chelsea. One of the reasons was the ambition he had, says the Leverkusen CEO. Therefore, Havertz could have been a Real Madrid player in 2020, but the complicated economic situation that the white club was going through due to the pandemic did not allow it. Near. Havertz, on more than one occasion, has been suggested for Real Madrid. But it was in 2020 when Florentino Perez contacted Leverkusen to acquire his services. Havertz is a player who, due to his football and quality, had the ability to fit better in a Spanish club, Fernando Caro concluded his intervention on Onda Ciro. Octiario always gives information about Real Madrid, and in this case it is focused on the team captain. Nacho Fernandez ends his contract on June 30, 2024 and has the possibility of renewing with Madrid, although he has more offers on the table. During his visit to the Chiringuito de Jugwans, the founder of Octiario spoke about the future of Nacho Fernandez. According to his information, the Madrid captain would not be at all clear about his continuity because he has important offers from the United States MLS. There is a player, Captain Nacho Fernandez, who they say is going to renew, but they tell me that he is considering going to play in the United States. It is an option that he is considering at the moment because he has an offer. I think it could end coming out, despite the fact that he is total Real Madrid DNA and a great guy, explained Eduardo Inda. At 34 years old, with Militao's return now, with Alaba's return in September and the possible signing of Euro in the summer, the Spanish centre-back would have quite a few doubts about the role he would have in the team. The fact of receiving such good economic offers in a country like the United States, which can be very good for your children's education and for improving their English, makes you rethink your future. This information is contradictory to what Tomas Roncero gave a few days ago. The AS journalist assured that Nacho had decided to renew, and not only that, but he also stated that it would become official very soon. Franco Mastanchuono remains in the sights of an entire Real Madrid universe that looks towards the city of Buenos Aires thinking about the possible landing of the River Plate jewel. Pay attention to what is said in Argentina about his future. River Plate sets off its alarms. Franco Mastanchuono generates last-minute information in relation to his possible arrival at Real Madrid or one of those clubs that on the old continent intends to secure his arrival in Europe sooner rather than later. It may not be necessary to wait until the age of 18 and therefore for the authorizations required by European legislation in relation to the signing of minors. Gaston Edel and Tyke Sports talk about a situation at the community level that has nothing to do with Hendrix. Host Franco Mastanchuono would try under his arm for a European passport that would allow him to reach the old continent before having to reach the age of majority and therefore comply with the rules regarding transfers in Europe. Today not only Real Madrid knows it. Franco Mastanchuono has European citizenship and a passport. He is a community player. Therefore, if a club pays his clause, they can take him instantly. 
It is not necessary for him to turn 18, the journalist's words to explain the international situation of a footballer destined to be bought by a European power sooner rather than later. Question of Decisions Beyond the claims that Real Madrid ultimately has in the operation, the truth is that only the entity that retains the services of the talented 16-year-old left-hander will be able to decide in relation to a future that could occur in the short, medium or long term. Term for Europe In Valdebebas and as was the case with the 17-year-old Brazilian from Brazil, they prefer training rather than having to shorten the time in Spain. Franco Mastanchuono has European citizenship and a passport. An unexpected twist for a saga that can be defined sooner rather than later and for which Real Madrid already knows that it will only have to pay 45 million euros in order to stay with who for many represents the next great promise of football and Argentine team. Robert Pires turned on the fan hours ago when commenting on what he would do if he were that Kylian Mbappe who is so popular in the Real Madrid universe at this time. There is an answer to Liverpool. There are many who give their opinion at this time about a novel that began back in 2017 and that is closer than ever to having Real Madrid as the winner even in the face of the voices that appear in the last hours to distort the wishes of Kylian Mbappe. There are answers to Robert Pires. The former Arsenal footballer was blunt when analyzing what the future of his compatriot will be from July 1, 2024 and in what aims to be a definitive departure from Paris Saint-Germain to join the biggest club on the planet. Kylian Mbappe generates all kinds of information and analysis that even reaches the forwards' entourage. I would like to see him in Liverpool. It is a great club, a family, good structure, no pressure, calm fans. And I tell myself that the duo that Kylian Mbappe could form with Mohamed Salah can be quite explosive. I think it is capable of rejecting Real Madrid, were the words of the legendary right midfielder who gave so much to talk about in Gallic lands. Blunt Response I have thought about everything, I have valued it, and I am clear about it. I know where I'm going to play next year and it won't be in Liverpool, is what those closest to Mbappe respond to Pires' words. Although it is by no means the first time that the Premier League has dealt with this, I do feel that the forward only has eyes right now to join the ranks of Real Madrid. An equation that, unlike what happened in 2022, does not aim to mutate and all this even taking into account how the white team could barely compete with the economic differences that exist between their entity and those of the United Kingdom. Kylian Mbappe has decided and no one will be able to change his mind.